Hi, I'm Mahina. And I'm Cole. And we're here with Mr Jones to talk about Fonterra Milk for Schools. Hello. Kia ora. We've had milk in our school, Mangatura Primary, for the last year, and we think it's really cool. Come have a look. Every week or so, the anchor milkman turns up and drops off a few boxes of milk. Enough for all the kids at school to get a pack a day. The boxes get put into the fridge Fonterra gives us so that everyone gets their milk nice and cold every day. Then someone from each class collects the milk and hands it out to all the kids. Different schools have their milk at different times, but we have ours during normal class time. We talked to some of the kids about what they think of Fonterra milk for schools. Come on, Mr Jones. I think it's yum and it's yummy when it's cold. It has lots of calcium, protein, vitamins. It keeps you stronger for longer. It makes your bones strong so you don't get broken arms all the time or legs. And every day when Jack brings it into the classroom, I'm dying for one. Amy! Amy! Hey! Protein helps you build strong muscles so that you can run and swim nice and fast. Milk comes from cows and it helps me in the morning when I'm doing my writing. It helps engage my brain in learning. So after morning tea, everyone's usually tired and it just wakes them up that little bit and then it, that gets them ready for learning and stuff. <laughs> it makes me feel really good for some reason. Milk's packed with all sorts of nutrients that are good for our bodies. Especially protein for... For growing bodies? And calcium, which we need for... For healthy teeth and bones? Very good, Mr Jones. The calcium in milk helps to keep all 206 bones and 639 muscles in your body strong. So, Mr Jones, once we've drunk our yummy milk, what do we do next? Throw it in the rubbish. No, Mr Jones, we put it in the recycling. Do you know what recycling is? Of course, man. Just like bicycling, but way faster. No, Mr Jones. Recycling is using things again. So instead of these ending up in the dump, they can return into things like this notebook. OK, that's clever. But why bother? Because recycling is good for our planet. OK. OK. So that's Fonterra Monk for Schools. I know you're going to like it. Bye. Bye, da Sayonara. Au fil de zen. Au revoir, mes amis. Hello again. Now we've got our Fonterra Monk for Schools pack. What do we do next? We recycle. No, no Mr. Mr. Jones. We have to drink it first. All right. First take your pack, push the straw from the top down so the sharpening comes out and the plastic wrapper stays attached. Then pierce a hole at the top with the straw. Be careful not to squeeze it. Have you finished your milk, Mr Jones? Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Push the straw down into the bottom corner of your pack and tilt it. Then slurp. You have to drink it dry before you put it in the recycling, otherwise the bin will get stinky. Now that we've drunk it dry, the next thing we need to do is fold it flat, like this. How come? Folding them makes them much smaller and seals them shut. This means we can fit twice as many in the recycling bin. Then they don't have to be taken away so often. And that means we save energy. So, how do we fold them? It's just like origami. Oh. I am awesome at origami. Watch and learn. Ribbit. Mr Jones. Watch and learn. First, take your straw out. Then, unfold the side panels at the top of the pack. 
Next, flatten the pack with the straw hole facing down and the bottom of the pack facing up. Then, flip the pack over. Fold in the sides of the pack. Flip the pack over again and fold on the dotted line B. And last, tuck the top flap into the space at the bottom of the pack and flatten the whole thing. Done. Ta-da! Car pie, Mr Jones. Well done. Yes, Mr Jones? But that'll take ages. Kids are really busy people, you know. No way. Check this out. Stop. That was sped up, wasn't it? Awesome. Now these are ready to be recycled. Only empty milk packs go in this bin. Definitely no other rubbish. When the recycling bin is collected, they'll be sent to a special factory where they'll get made into things like this roof tile. Cool. So what are we going to remember with our Fonterra milk for schools? Mr Jones? Drink it dry, fold it flat, send it back. You've got it, Mr Jones. See, it must be easy. Now we're going to talk through some of the things about how Fonterra Milk for Schools works. Pay attention. This is important. We've been involved in the Fonterra Milk for Schools program since the beginning of the year. At first we had some teachers who were a little bit nervous about how much learning time the programme would take up. And however, the way we've gone about it, it's just part of daily routine. Having the milk at the start of lunchtime wasn't really the best idea for us because we noticed children weren't really focused on the milk. They were wanting to get out in the playground as quickly as they could. So by bringing it into the classroom and making it part of the learning, just as you would allow children to have water bottles in the classroom. You don't even really know that it's there. Children are carrying on with their reading, carrying on with their writing. We're happy with it, and certainly the children are happy with it. So, you know, it's really become just part of what we do. This is Luke and Corinne McDonald. They deliver the milk to our school. When we turn up, the kids are very excited to see the truck. They love seeing us. They actually love telling us about what, how, how they've learnt about the nutritional value of milk and what it does for them and how it helps them grow and everything as well. So it really is lovely. This is the sort of fridge that every school will have. Or one like this. Or this one, the little baby fridge. Wah! Wah! The fridge should be put somewhere easy for the anchor milkman and the milk monitors to get to. Morning, Mr Jones. Morning. But not somewhere that's too busy or too close to where someone's working. It's important how the fridge is stocked. Ready? Yep. So you just put the whole case into the fridge, with this side facing out. Start at the top of the fridge, fill each shelf, leaving a little gap around each case so they all get the cold air on them. Then when you're taking the milk out, start from the top and work your way down to the bottom. The next day, start taking cases from where you finished yesterday. Any leftover milk packs should be put on the first empty shelf so they use first the next day. Only restock those shelves that have been completely emptied of cases. We make it as student-led as possible, so we don't have teachers taking charge of the program. We have students that are responsible for stacking the fridge, and we also have lots of children putting their hands up wanting to be the milk monitors, so it creates a lot of leadership opportunities. I'm the milk monitor, and Every afternoon or morning, I will come in and I'll go into the fridge and make sure it's tidy. And if there's any half carton boxes, I'll make fill them up into one box and make sure that that's filled up. And then I'll go into the fridge and fill it up and then I'll close the milk fridge and make sure that everyone enjoys it. My job at this school is to be a milk monitor and every day I get a pack of milk and I take it back to class, and then I share it out to the class, and then they drink it. I like doing it for the little children because I know that they love their milk, and if there were no boxes in there or no cartons, they wouldn't be able to enjoy that, so I like doing things for little kids. The children have really taken on board the concept of recycling. 
Once we've finished drinking the milk, the packs get folded and put into these bins. But first the bins need to be lined with this plastic bag. Then these small bins are placed around the school, close to where the kids drink the milk. It's best that the bins are in the shade so the sun doesn't make them go smelly. When the bin's full, our caretaker ties up the bag and puts it into the big recycling bin at his shed. Then the bags get collected by the anchor milkman when they make the next delivery. So that's Fonterra Milk for Schools. Any questions? Yes, Mr. Jones. Can I be milk monitor, please? Pretty please? I'll be really good at it. I'm really, really good at carrying stuff. No, seriously, I'm really, really responsible. I was raised by a herd of cows. Honestly, it's true. Guys? Guys?